Aloha, beautiful people. Forgive me if I'm low energy today, but I'm sure you will understand. <laughs> okay, to the numbers. Uh, yesterday I was 168.8. Today I'm 165.6. So, that's a lot, you know, I'm dropping crazy big numbers. But that's the bad thing. One of the bad things about dry fasting, number one, it sucks. <laughs> number two, you know, I don't know what my numbers will look like in the morning. Um, but without a doubt, if you dry fast, you're going to lose a shit ton of weight, right? But it's a lot of it's going to be water because you're not drinking water. You're not eating. So your body's going to just use the water in your body and just use it so a lot of the weight loss is water loss um, so of course and your body's getting depleted so of course when you do rehydrate and refeed or whatever your body's just gonna be like a sponge and just <laughs> suck that water back up so for sure after you rehydrate you're going to gain whatever you lost you're going to gain some of that back um sometimes it's just a little sometimes it's a lot if you dry fast for the weekend and you lost let's say you lose you know five pounds six pounds for the weekend you could potentially gain Let's say you lost six. You could potentially gain three or four pounds back after the re, you know, the refeed, the rehydrating, and all that. <coughs> Sometimes not that much. If you lost six pounds, you could gain two of it back. Um, it just, I don't know. It just depends, I guess, because I've done both. You know, I've dry fasted and then I've gained back. You know. A lot of what I lost sometimes I only you know gain back a couple of pounds so but you will see an increase on the scale after you uh, rehydrate one thing I do notice is that today I look a little bit more like I feel <laughs> and I'm laughing because this laugh that I'm doing is a, I'm going to laugh because if I don't, I'm going to cry. <laughs> and again, it's the dry fasting. I don't get along with dry fasting. Dry fasting hates me. I hate dry fasting. We have a love-hate relationship. And... I don't know I just I don't know why like I think I've said this in another video like Cole did a video where he dry fasted seven days seven fucking days y'all and it's it's amazing you know and I'm like dry fast two days and I feel like death and I'm like how the fuck did he do this for seven days but I have to always remind myself well yeah he's way younger than you he's in tip-top shape so his experience is going to be different from mine um but dry fasting is no joke i i've not talked to anybody that's dry fasted and they said oh my god i enjoyed that that was so much fun <laughs> never <sighs> that being said um as you can see keto stick super dark um I feel like I look. Um, yeah. So, yesterday I stayed in my recliner. After I made my video, I did just like I said, and I stayed in my recliner. As long as I'm sitting in that recliner, nice and comfy, and my feet up and everything, it's not so bad. 
um, you know, watching my movies. It's not so bad. But, you know, and if I was, if it was just me, that would be great because that's all I would do. Go to sleep, get up, get in the recliner. Go to sleep, get up, get <laughs> But the only hurdle that I have to get over is little Jersey. I mean, because Jersey's got to go out. She don't know how to use uh, pee pads and stuff, so she's got to go out. So our normal re routine, as far as Jersey's concerned, is I take her out. Usually four times a day. Sometimes just three. I don't know. But it usually works out to four times a day. It's average of what I take her out. So that's four times a day that I feel like I don't have enough energy to breathe in and out. <laughs> Much less get dressed, take her for a walk, in the blazing heat, She's a dog. She wants to smell every frickin' pee spot that other dogs peed at while she's out there. You know, so I'm walking around, waiting for her to find a good spot, you know, all that. So, you know, that's something I have to do. So even though I might be feeling like death, I can't just stay in my recliner. I have to take care of that. Fine, I got it done yesterday. Um, but again, as long as I was in the recliner, I was, I was fine. You know, if I got up, oh, and by the way, even though you're dry fasting, you still pee, y'all, because your body, whatever water is in your body, your body's using that, so you're still going to pee. So if I got up to pee, or when I would stand up out of the recliner to get ready to take her out or whatever. I was so low energy. A couple of times I was like, ugh, you know, got a little lightheaded. And and that was on day one, y'all. So, today, I get up, have to take Jersey for her first walk of the morning, feeling... Just low, low energy again. Not as bad as I felt when I went to bed because, you know, I'd had a good night's sleep. And so that was probably, you know, something that was needed. So still low energy, but just not like as intense as it was uh, by the end of the day yesterday. So I got, I got her out, took her outside, let her do her thing, came back. Like I said in yesterday's video, I needed to go to the store and get a couple of things. I was dreading it, but as soon as I brought her back home, I grabbed my purse so I could just run and go get it over with. Got my couple of things, came back home, it, and it wasn't as, I thought it was going to be like, ugh. <laughs> but since I only had to get a couple of things, you know, I, it's not like I was buying groceries and had to traipse around the store for an hour. Um, so I just got my couple of things, came back home, um, and today's Sunday, and anybody that watches my videos regular, regularly, if there's any of you, I know there's two of you, <laughs> um, no, two, three, yeah, for sure there's at least three of you that watch regularly and but anywho any of you that watch regularly you know that Sundays are my cleaning day um so I knew that was something I was gonna have to tackle regardless of how I was feeling anybody else would have been like okay dry fasting this weekend Sunday cleaning ain't getting done <laughs> But for me, I mm, can't do it. I'm just stubborn that way in the sense that I, I clean once a week, y'all. Sundays are my cleaning day. I clean the apartment top to bottom, you know, 
cleaning everything, bleaching everything down, sweeping, mopping, all that bullshit. And I, I like to do it. Me and my air quotes, huh? I bet you people watch this and like, what the fuck is up with her and those fucking air quotes? <laughs> but for me, you know, I like to clean on Sundays, top to bottom, bleach everything down. Because I know that's the day, and then the rest of the week I can relax. I don't have to worry about, oh, I need to go do this, I need to clean that, I need to... No, I've done everything, and I can relax for the rest of the week. Um, so, I have to get it done Sunday. Um, would it have killed me to not get it done today? <laughs> no, it wouldn't have killed me. I wouldn't have been happy. Um, because... I was going to say I like to clean. I don't like the cleaning. I just like how I feel after it's done. Which it is done. <laughs> At this point, it's done. You know, the apartment's clean now. I've done everything. Floor sweep, floors mop, vacuum. You know, clean the bathroom. Everything's done now. I got some smell good candles going on back there, you know, and the apartment looks clean, it smells clean, it smells pretty. So when I'm done, that's the part I like, is when I sit in my recliner and enjoy my nice clean apartment and how good it smells and all that. That's the part I like. So had I not done it, had I not pushed myself to do it, I know I would have sat over there in that recliner and I wouldn't have been able to really completely enjoy myself, chill out, you know, because I would be sitting over there saying, ah, oh, you fucking lazy ass, you should, you know, you need to clean. So, I'm letting y'all into the craziness now. So, just to avoid all that, I said, no, I'm getting it done. I feel like hammered shit, but I'm going to get it done. Just push myself. It really doesn't take me too awful long to get it done. It's a small apartment. Um, so I just got her done. I got her done. And now it's done. Now when I'm done with this video, and as soon as I was done, I was like, nope, don't sit down. <laughs> get over there and make that video. So that when the video is done, then I'm done for the day. I still have on my I don't give a fuck shirt on because I'm done for the day. And I it's time for me to get in my recliner and chill. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so in my head I was thinking, okay, 48 hour dry fast. For whatever reason, I was thinking, yeah, so when I get up Monday, I'm going to have a really small refeed before I head out on my walk. Then I'll go to the gym, and then when I get home from the gym, I'll have a, a little, you know, a, the, a bigger refeed. Um, I don't think I'm going to stick to that because technically 48 hours is over at 7 p.m. tonight. So yeah, my fear is that if I do it like I planned, if I wake up like this tomorrow, chances are pretty good that I'm not going to walk and I'm not going to the gym. And I don't want that. So I'm going to stick to true 48 hours and tonight at 7. I am going to drink some delicious cold water I'm not gonna stay make a long video cuz I already feel delirious and I'm gonna start saying stupid shit but yeah so I'm gonna stick with strictly 48 hours um, drink some water at 7 I'm gonna drink a, I may even drink two bottles who knows <laughs> And I may also do a small refeed because do I hope that will be enough to when I get up in the morning that it, I can then have that small little pre-workout meal. 
and feel good enough that I don't go out here and walk and pass out. <laughs> it, it may still suck. I mean, you know, I feel depleted, so... So the walk may still suck, but I don't think it would suck as bad as dry fasting till tomorrow morning and then having that little refeed with a little bit of water I think the walk would really suck then. <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid that. So I'm going to do as I said. 7 o'clock tonight. I'll be rehydrating. I'm going to have a you know really small refeed. And then... Uh, yeah. And then hopefully I feel better in the morning more energetic whatever and I can get through my walk and the gym and we'll see I don't want to be a wimp I don't want to be a pussy but we'll see come hell or high water you know me I'm gonna walk I'm gonna get my walk in and then I'll see how I feel after my walk like if I'm dying then you know I'll hold off on the gym because, like I said before, I, right, I don't care about the gym. I do, I do care about the gym, but my, my, uh, my cardio is top on my list. Um, I've got the rest of my life to get to the gym and get strong and work on my muscles and stuff. So, one or two more days of not going to the gym ain't going to kill me. Um, but hopefully, like I, if I do things the way I say I'm going to do them, you know, it, it'll give me enough energy to get through my walk, get to the gym, and then um, I'll have a nice big refeed to look forward to because uh, we're going to do it all over again. <laughs> Starting Tuesday. Minus the dry feed. The, the, the other was not so bad. I mean, I know I did complain a lot about how my walk was draggy and all that. But, um, yeah, one more week. Yeah, one more week. I'm just going to push it one more week, do the best I can, get through it, and then God is my witness, y'all. Next Monday, I'll go back to, you know, regular 72 hours uh, snake juice fast, refeed, 72 hours refeed. You know the drill. Yeah. So, we shall see what happens tomorrow. Um, but that's pretty much it. And I, of course, I'm interest. I'll be interested to see um, what the scale does in the morning. You know, I am so out of it, y'all. So I'm gonna get off of here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get off of here. <laughs> Let me go. Oh, my God. All right, y'all. I'm out. Keep fasting. Stay strong. Hang tough. And if all goes well and the good Lord wakes me up in the morning, <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. Mahalo.